everyone, today we're going to talk about the importance of opening a bank account in Australia. Trust us, it's a game changer. Not only does it make transactions and savings a breeze, but you also get access to a bunch of discount and cuts in transactions fees. Talk about the win-win conditions, right? My name is Dwi Payani and welcome to the Education One YouTube channel. To stay up to date on everything related to studying in Australia, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Let's continue to our topic. So, what are the benefits of having a bank account in Australia? Here we go. First, transfer money internationally. Second, pay your bills. Third, manage your student accommodation. Fourth, access your money to pay tuition fees. And fifth, receive your salary from work since most employers deposit your pay directly into your account. Most Australian banks offer a student account, just like a regular transaction account but with added benefits. For example, you won't have to pay fees when depositing cash or to withdraw from an ATM. Now, let's talk about the requirements. Each bank may have its own regulations, but typically you'll need to provide your passport, proof of your Australian residential address, your valid visa documents, and a letter from your institutions of study on official letterhead proving you're a full-time student. You can even set up your student account online for up to 3 months before arriving in Australia. Just fill out the application form on your chosen bank's website and deposit money once you've received your new account information. Upon arrival, you'll need to book an appointment at your local branch to prove your identity and access your money. You'll need to bring your passport and proof of a permanent address in Australia like a utility bill or tenancy agreement. You'll typically need to do this within the first few months so don't forget. You'll need to bring your passport, university acceptance letter, and proof of permanent address to the appointment. If you prefer, you can also open your bank account in person. Just make sure to do so within the first six weeks of arrival. Now, we know that choosing a bank can feel overwhelming. There are a lot of options to consider, so we recommend keeping these things in mind. First, service fees. Some banks may charge no fees, while others charge if you meet certain conditions, like reaching a certain age. Check the bank's charges and ask questions before opening an account. Second, ATM availability. Although we are in a digital age, sometimes you still need cash. Make sure the bank you choose has nearby ATMs in the area where you'll be studying or living. Third, online and mobile banking feature. We all love simplicity and convenience. Find a bank with online and mobile banking services that meet your needs, is accessible 24-7, offers the cheapest options, and has a strong security system. Fourth, competitive interest rates. Interest rates affect the amount you earn when you deposit money and the amount you pay when you borrow, like with a credit card or loan. Try to find an account with higher than average interest rates on deposits and lower than average interest rates on debts, but it depends on your spending habits. Fifth, debit cards. You will most likely receive a debit card when you open an account. Make sure it's a Visa debit or MasterCard debit card for online shopping and easy access to cash at ATMs in Australia and overseas. In conclusion, opening a bank account in Australia is essential for international students. It makes transactions and savings a breeze and gives you access to a bunch of discounts and cuts in transactions fees. Whether online or in person, research and compare various banks to find one that best fits your needs. From fee structures, ATM locations, and online and mobile banking options, don't forget to consider all aspects before making your final decisions. Remember, 
Once you have your account set up, you can start taking advantage of the many benefits that come with it, including easier money management, access to discount and lower transactions fees, and the ability to handle day-to-day -day financial transactions with ease. Thanks for tuning in. If you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button and leave a comment to let us know you're tough. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you never miss a video from Education One. We've got a lot of great content coming your way. See you in the next video. Bye!